Hello everyone and welcome back, Dace here, and today we are checking out Space Moth Lunar Edition for Nintendo Switch. I'm really excited to share this with you all. I picked it up a few days ago with Star Hunter DX. At the time, they were on sale. I'm not sure if they still are or not, but they were about $7 each, which is pretty reasonable. Um, I'm liking them a lot anyway. I have jumped in just to get a feel for things, and I think they're fantastic, so I'm very excited to share that. So. We can go over some of this stuff later, or we'll see what happens, but for right now, we're going to jump into a run. You have these two mods to choose from, the Space Moth and the Hawk. This one has a stronger laser, which I like a lot, and a few other things I like about it, but I can explain that stuff as we get into it. So let's just start a run. So right off the bat, you will see that these little dudes follow me, depending on where I move. And the other ship doesn't have that. And you'll see this little spot here that I just used my shot to blow open to reveal a hidden item. So there are, I think there are about 10 secret items in each level. So what you can do is you can use the ring around you when it's... Uh, just give me one second because I'm focusing. Um, when it's ready, which... You'll know it's ready when it's uh, flashing certain colors. Um, you can... I think maybe... It's got to get big enough first before I can use it. Yeah, there we go. So once it's big enough, you can just do this where it cancels out the bullets and you get bonus points for all the skulls you collect. I would like to get that. And you can move away from the circle. It's not that it stays on you. And... As far as I know, I haven't used the other sh uh, the other moth too much, but I think that circle stays around that, so it it's different than this one because you can you're free to move wherever you want while leaving the circle where you initiate it. So I like that they add some variety, and what you'll notice is that some of these enemies go dark when you're using your normal shot. It turns them into like a demonic mode or something. And when they are in that mode and you use your laser to kill them, you get more points. And also, um, they're more aggressive. So just, yeah, keep in mind if you're playing that that's kind of how that works. Or at least that's what I have noticed. I'm almost positive that's how it functions. Just from my experience playing this so far. So yeah. If there's one thing I really find refreshing, it's games that have like an insect theme. I love Mushihime Sama, and I think this is a really, really cool game. And 1cc Games, I think, is a fairly small studio. I'm not sure if this and Star Hunter DX were their very first games or their very first STGs, but either way, I really like what I see here. It's creative, it's fun, it controls really well. Um, and like I said, for the price, like, it, it can't be beat. It's super, super cool. So we're just gonna go like this. Kill that guy. Now, from what I can tell, there's only one difficulty mode, or maybe once I 1cc it, it might uh, unlock, like, a, a harder mode or something. Uh, I kind of doubt that. But I can say this is definitely challenging in its own way. I'm just going to go like that because I don't want to risk getting hit into the safety of the circle. Oh no, dude! Okay, this guy's going crazy. I haven't played an insane amount because, as many of you know, I'm deep into Crimson Clover. Um, but from what I have played, just a handful of sessions, I, I'm usually getting to somewhere in stage three. Sometimes I make it to stage four, but it's easy to fumble. You do also have bombs, and that's what this item here is on the right side, which I will collect as soon as that guy's dead. Um, but... Yeah, it's, it's a challenge in its own way, because sometimes, like, the bosses, they can be rough, where you think you're going to take a hit, so you, you use a bomb, or you use your circle thing, and then 
it's not going to be ready to use again anytime soon. So you start using bombs to save yourself. <laughs> and then before you... Oh, what? I think I ran into that guy as if. And then before you know it, you're just taking a hit and you're done like that. Crazy. So I'm going to just use a continue because I'm not playing seriously right now. I just want to show you what is what. Oh my goodness. Okay. But I think it's really, really creative. It's just, there's something about this that is very, very calming. And the music as well. I find it to be just really, really cool. You've got to be really careful with the circle because sometimes you'll feel safe but when that circle finishes up and then you're suddenly faced with just a, a wall of bullets coming your way it's it can be pretty intense And then for a quick finish, we'll probably just bomb. And I might even just bomb again instead of risking losing another life. But yeah, really neat bosses. And the big pincers that that boss has do damage you, so it's a, a pretty confined space. But one thing that I think is really cool is that let's say you haven't jumped into Mushihime-sama or a game that has that kind of uh, bullet patterns. Um, I feel as though this is a great stepping stone or just something to get you, yeah, just to get you familiar with that sort of thing. Because these ones are not intense patterns, but it does teach you how to just do very little movement in order to um yeah survive more or less because there isn't so much happening that you're panicking and scrambling there's just something about it that i feel is very um beginner friendly in that sense oh, oh i wasn't even paying attention I just want I was going for the treasure. But just the creativity, like the, just the different types of life forms we see in this game, I feel is really refreshing compared to what you see a lot of the time. Now, in my normal runs, when I'm actually playing seriously, I attempt to make it to the stage 3 1-up, which we'll see soon enough. Uh, I usually make it there before losing a life. Um, that's kind of just like a personal goal, because I don't want to start losing too many lives and all that kind of stuff, so that's kind of what I shoot for. And I'm not sure if there are other ways to get extends in this game like score related ones. Anyway, here's the one up. Let's, uh, let's get that. There's a really, really cool attack pattern in stage four, I think, when these plants, oh, I was not paying attention. Um, yeah, I might as well just go there and then I can show you. I'm just gonna use a bomb here because I don't want to mess anything up. And there may be things that I'm not even aware of in this game yet. I'm just sharing what I've come across from the little bit I've played. Oh, I was gonna bomb! If you don't want to play so risky, 
like converting everything into its evil form as if I pressed buttons um, and you just wouldn't convert any of them to the demon mode like you would just pretty much use your focus shot the whole time And if I'm not mistaken, the aura, <laughs> I was not paying attention, uh, the aura around your moth is also very damaging too, but I have not experimented with getting close enough to enemies to really do anything with that. Oh, come on, dude. And I'm wondering when my circle is going to... Oh, okay, it's starting to, to grow now. Sometimes it doesn't come back, and I'm wondering why that is. It's got to be something. Oh, what was that? I went out for some reason. Oh, I'm not sure what happened here. Oh, that restarted it. Okay, whatever. Okay, whatever. Um, anyway, great opportunity to check out this one. Because I'm probably only going to go for like 20 minutes or so. So yeah, with this one, it's the reverse as far as I recall. This concentrated shot doesn't do as much damage, but the spread shot does a lot more. I still like using the, the focus shot because it's just what I'm into. I like just having more control with this, uh, the reduced speed that you get with shots. I find there's just more precision you can bring to your game in that sense. Let's get that. But the spread shot is great for moments like this. So yeah, as I mentioned, um, I think I mentioned it anyway, you can... Whereas the circle is independent of the moth and uh, when you're using the other one, with this one, it stays on you, so it, you can kind of go crazy with it and not run the risk of going outside of the circle like I did a couple times with the, the, the Hawk DX1 or whatever it's called. Got a pretzel there. Oh my goodness. Really, really cool. I just love the way these move. Maybe it's better. Interesting, I just had a great idea. Since the circle for this moth doesn't leave you, maybe this is the one to actually cash in on using the damaging aura since you're not risking being outside of your circle. That's something I'm going to experiment with. I had not considered that yet. So what I'll probably do is just this level and then we will end it off there. I will be doing a recording of Star Hunter DX. Um, that'll be probably over the next day or so. Um, and, uh, yeah, some other things that are in the works, which will be out very soon. I did a very, very short recording yesterday. I was playing more Crimson Clover, of course, and I developed a more preferable method for the Stage 3 boss. Now, some of you will just have no interest in that, which is fine, um, but for those who remember in the summer, I had a, you know what, let's just go like this. I had a uh, video where it was a flawless um, method for the stage three boss, which has you not going around in circles when he does the laser wheel attack. Um, so since then I've learned that, I think when you're in your like break, uh, what is it called? Um, yeah, break or double break mode, I think they're more aggressive, and so the circle seemed much more fast 
to me. And I think that's part of why I was deterred from bothering circling him during that attack. But now it's like, oh, well, okay, I can do part of the circle without being in break mode, so it's like easy to manage, but instead of doing the entire thing, which is still risky, um, I can kind of just go halfway and then go into my break mode after that because then I know the timing of when that attack will finish for him and then it's safe to just clean up the rest of the fight. Anyway, that's a lot of ex explanation and if you have no idea what I'm going on about then there's no reason for me to even explain it. But anyway, I'm having a blast with that and I'm just progressing and I'm stoked to crush Arcade Original whenever it is I do. Some of these shots that these mushrooms fire are so tiny, it's crazy. Like, how often do you see ones that small? You know what? I think we're safe. Got a snail. Oh, what was that? That was so silly. My circle's gone. Man, that's the thing. Like, when you have the circle, just use it. Because if you just take a hit, that's one situation where you could still be in the game. I gotta let this charge up more though, jeez. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My controller just went crazy for a second. I'll need to clean that soon. That is for sure. I'm just gonna use a bomb. Nothing like spamming. And there you go. So you know what, let's get back to the menu somehow. Nothing seems to be uh, allowing me to leave just yet, but I will, oh, I love this song, it's so good. I just wanna kill this guy and then we'll go like this. So let's just take a quick look at the challenges. Uh, I have a bunch of them already, like these ones. Um, some of them are basic, others I'm not so sure what is involved yet. Because uh, I haven't actually read all of them over, I probably could just do that, but... Yeah, they have like six little pages worth. Actually, this was the first one I got, read the how-to-play guide. <laughs> Pretty easy. Uh, start a game with the screen rotated. Oh, nice. So yeah, I like when they have additional things like that. Leaderboards, I haven't even taken a look at these yet. These seem to be all... Like, other than, of course, mine, these seem to be just, like, pre-programmed scores. Because there's no way those would be, like, so precise. Um, and yeah, of course, that. Controls, options, practice. I'm not sure what practice is. Probably just, like, a training mode. But yeah, for what it is, I think it's really cool. Um, I'm stoked to have picked this up and checked it out. Uh, and yeah, I think that's what, where we will leave for now. So I trust everyone is having a stellar day. Let me know in the comments below if you have played this, if you enjoy it, if you would like to pick it up at some point, or whatever the case is, or maybe you got Star Hunter DX and uh, want to share about a little bit about that too. Before my video comes up, I'd love to hear some thoughts too. Um, it's all the same to me. Anyway, that's going to be it. You have a fantastic day, and we will see you next time, everybody.